Hi, my name is Darcy Leg with Darcy's Healing Touch, where my focus goes, healing energy flows. Today, I am going to do an illumination. with Laura. Welcome, Laura. So glad you're here. Thank you for allowing me to do this online with you. Oh, of course. I love this. <laughs> so let's get started. The first thing I do when I start an illumination is I light a candle. So I'm going to go ahead and light the candle. I'll set it aside. Then I open my Warakosha. That's my eighth chakra right above my head. Once I've opened my Warakosha, I go ahead and open it over Laura. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm opening, and this helps me get connected to her. I've opened my Warakoshas, I've lit my candle, and once I get started, I do just a really quick, I, I've already opened Sacred Space before I got on line with Laura. I'll do a little bit of smudging with Sage, and then I do a little bit of Palo Santo too. Just to clear the area. And I did this before I got online also. There we go. So today we're going to do a basic illumination. And usually when I do an energy healing, I'll start off with an illumination and then I'll add items onto that. So to start off our illumination, um, Laura, was there anything specific you wanted to work on today or did you want to keep that private? Oh, no, uh, that's fine. So right now, I'm, uh, I feel like just a illumination all, all up and down, you're, you know, basically clearing things out would be wonderful. I'm having some sort of tightness around like the connection between the throat and the heart. Uh -huh. So uh, there's a connection, tightness between the throat and the heart. Is there something that stems from specifically? Oh, I think it's just needed to like, uh, all the words that I haven't said, I feel like they're like banging on the door, like, let us out, let us out. And I, I am in the process of letting them out, but I can't let them all out at once. So like there, there's some that are like still banging on that door. Okay. That's what we'll work on today then. We'll get started. I think I have ash on my face. Okay. Um, I'm going to have you pick a rock and I have them clockwise. I'll show them to you. I'll show you each of my rocks. This is number one. Oh, nice. My first crystal, two. Almost dropped that one. Three. And you'll just pick whichever one resonates with you the most. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Awesome. I loved how every one of those stones sort of had, had like a different energy to them. When you uh -huh. show them, and then like some of them, like I felt a little bit of energy in the different chakra points that, was that they're cool. related to. Yeah, yeah. When you first mentioned uh, hey, uh, picking a stone, like seven immediately popped into my head. Seven. Okay. That's this stone. Is that the one. Yeah, oh. it's very dense. It is. It is very dense. So now I'm going to figure out which chakra 
that I need to put it on. So if you were here in front of me, I would just use my pendulum and test my sh each of your chakras. But I use this. Ooh, there you go. This is chakras. So I'm just using my pendulum. Um, it'll tell me a yes or no. And I start with the root chakra is what I do when I work my way up. Some people will start with the crown chakra and work their way down. So the root sacral says no. It's showing the heart chakra. I'll test the rest of them just to make sure. Yeah. So it's telling me that it needs to go on the heart chakra. So before we put it on the heart chakra, I'm going to hand you, imagine that I'm handing you the rock. You're going to put it in your left hand and whatever issue that you had, what you told me about earlier, you're going to blow it three times into the rock. Thank you. Got the rock back. What I'm going to do is just take, before I unwind that, I'll take my hands and I'll set them underneath your head and cradle your head. And I'll just, and I'll do this before I unwind your heart chakra. I'm just gonna cradle your head for just a minute. I'll have you breathe through your nose and out through your mouth. And this will just get us relaxed before I unwind your chakras and start the healing. Okay. I'm going to take my rattle and unwind your heart chakra. I'll do this counterclockwise. You may feel this or you may not. It just depends. I've unwound her heart chakra. I'm just using my hands and pulling things out of there. Now I'm going to take the rock and put it on her heart chakra. So she has the rock on her heart chakra right now. I'm going to take my hands and place them under her head and support her head. She'll continue to breathe in through her nose and out through her mouth. So right now I'm feeling energy kind of coming from my throat down and then escaping out that open heart chakra. I was going to tell you in just a minute to start breathing in through your nose and down through the stone where the heart chakra is. You can do that now. And that helps clear it quicker too. I'm seeing like a big purple orb. Really? Where's it at? I'll just write it in front of my face. Mm. Now I'm feeling a rush of energy come up through the top of my head. Okay, at this time, if I felt like it was cleared enough, I would go ahead and start, which I started doing anyway, start tracking and um, seeing what Laura would need if she needed other things. However, I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm just going to keep it to the basics. Illumination, to show you just the illumination process. But at this point, if I was doing a soul retrieval, I would start 
right now in the process. Or if I was doing cord cutting or whatever she would be needing, I would do it right about now. However, I'm just keeping it to a basic illumination. I'm going to continue to cradle her head and run energy through her to get that chakra nice and cleared. Okay. And I'm going to check and see if it's good. And with my pendulum, and my pendulum tells me that it's clear. So at this time, I'm going to take the rock off and put it back in my medicine bag, my mesa. And a lot of times I thank my rock for the healing that it's done. And then I wind up her chakra the right direction going clockwise. And I'm going to spin each one of her chakras. I just kind of do that just to get them a good spin. Starting with her crown. And I'm going down to her third eye. Her throat chakra. And do her heart again because it's in a row. Down to her solar plexus. chakra and her root chakra Good. so the last thing I do is I illuminate her chakra so anytime I take something out of the body I have to put it light back in so I take my eight chakra which is like a golden ball of sunlight and I just pull it down into her her chakra and I do this three times and this is the illumination part it's like I'm pulling golden sunlight down into that chakra Perfect. So the last thing I'll do, if it, the client needs it, is I'll do something called decoupling. And so for decoupling, it helps us with our fight, flight or fight. If we want to, if something happens that's scary, we hold on to that. And this helps release that and calms us down. And once you do this at night, you will sleep like a baby. You'll sleep really, really good during the night. So what I do is I put this hand under your back where your heartbeat is, your heart chakra. And I'll place this hand under your lower back under where your sacral chakra is. And then it connects the two. Once I feel the heartbeat, I'll connect with Mother's Earth's heartbeat and um, it'll calm you down. So I'm gonna go ahead and imagine I'm placing my hands under your back, under your heart chakra and your sacral chakra. I'll start connecting with your heartbeat and then I'll connect with Mother Earth. And if it doesn't bother you, sometimes I hum too, so.
I just felt some energy go through my spine. I just felt it too. <laughs> I think that's coming up from the earth. Your heartbeat's powerful, that's for sure. Yeah, that's been opening up and it's just like, whoosh. The hair on my arms and legs is standing up on end. I'm not entirely certain it's not because I'm cold, but like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pull my hands out from underneath you. And when you're ready, move to your left side for about a minute and then you can sit up when you're ready. I'm going to open or close the Wiracosha over you and over from me. I usually do a bell. How do you feel? Really good. Like, um, during the end, I had like just this, like, sort of like childish joy going through me. And there were a couple of times where I felt like whooshes of energy and it like would expand sort of like my aura out. Uh -huh. And it felt like a little like static electricity, like ah, just energized. Nice. Good. Good, good, good. Well, I want to thank you so much for allowing me to do this and show everybody the process. You are very brave for allowing me to do this. I really appreciate it, though. <laughs> I'm happy to help. <laughs> thank you so much.